Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today's collector's edition is going to be something a little bit different. We're going to be looking at some photographs of some of the celebrities that I've met over the years. I hope you enjoy it. We'll start with Mr. Nicholas Hammond, who some of you may remember playing Friedrich in The Sound of Music. Now to me, he's Peter Parker and The Amazing Spider-Man from the famous 1970s television serial. In fact, that television serial was shown at cinemas in the UK, therefore making him the first big screen Peter Parker and Spider-Man. This photo was taken at a Blackpool film convention a few years ago, and Mr. Hammond was kind enough to do the Spider-Man pose with me in the photo shoot. Another actor to portray Spider-Man was of course Tobey Maguire, who ignored me when I asked if I could get a photo with him, so this is what I got. But that doesn't matter, as I got a photo with the best on-screen Spider-Man, Mr Andrew Garfield. I have yet to meet Tom Holland. Bruce Campbell portrayed many different cameo roles throughout the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. In this photo shoot he wanted everybody to bring a prop so they could act out his movies, but I didn't have any, so we decided to web shoot instead. Mr. Martin Sheen, here posing for a West Wing photo shoot, was delighted when I told him that I loved his performance as Uncle Ben in The Amazing Spider-Man. This is a really early 2002 shot of Jake Gyllenhaal, who among many other roles, went on to portray Mysterio in Spider-Man Far From Home. And of course, we have Tom Hardy, famous for playing Eddie Brock, aka Venom, one of the Spider-Man enemies. And where would any of them be without Spider-Man's co-creator, comic book legend Stan Lee? It was a real privilege to meet this absolute gentleman. More superheroes. This is Chris Hemsworth, also known as Thor in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I have no idea why my face is like that. John Favreau, famous now as one of the producers on The Mandalorian, but also director of Iron Man, which kickstarted the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe. Here's Michael Fassbender, Magneto in the X-Men First Class movies, leaning back into his fans. Onto the DC comics now. And my first on-screen crush, this is Helen Slater, Supergirl from the 1984 movie. The very first superhero that I ever saw on the television screen was 1960s TV Batman, Adam West. And here's another Batman. Fel Kilmer portrayed Bruce Wayne and Batman in 1995's Batman Forever. And here's a more recent photograph. On to horror now, and back in 1995, the first horror actor that I ever met at a convention, Doug Bradley, Pinhead from the Hellraiser series. Here's the beautiful Kate Beckinsale at the Click UK premiere. Kate, of course, was Celine in the vampire series Underworld. Mr John Hurt, such a versatile actor, but perhaps still best known for his role as Kane in Ridley Scott's 1979 Alien. Here's Adrian King, who portrayed Alice in the original 1980 Friday the 13th. She's holding the mask of Bonehead, a killer from my movie short, It's My Party, which was inspired by the Friday the 13th series. From the right back, Here's Don Mancini, no relation, Fiona Dourif, myself, and a screen used Chucky doll, taken, I think, from the movie The Curse of Chucky. What's going on with my face? It looks like Chucky's possessed me. Scout Taylor Compton, who portrayed Laurie Strode in Rob Zombie's Halloween, was cold this day, so we decided to give each other a hug. Here's Danielle Harris, Jamie Lloyd in Halloween 4 and 5, with her original Jamie costume. This was taken in 2003 at the Halloween 25 Years convention. Josh Hartnett, as well as playing Laurie Strode's son John in Halloween H2O, was also in the vampire movie 40 Days of Night. A really nice guy, James Duke Courtney portrays Michael Myers in David Gordon Green's Halloween movies. And here's the original Michael Myers, Mr Nick Castle from the 1978 John Carpenter's Halloween. And here's my directing idol, Mr John Carpenter himself. It was a real honour to meet him when he visited the UK to tour the music from most of his classic movies. Another honour was meeting the godfather of Halloween, series producer Mustafa Akkad back in 2003. He was sadly taken from us just a few years later. Scream now, and a bit of fun with the killers from the film. Here's Matt Lillard accusing me of being Ghostface, while I accuse him. Whereas Skeet Urich is happy to take the accusation without any worries. What neither of them realise is that I've got the lovely Nev Campbell, aka Sidney Prescott, on my side. Scream was parodied in the year 2000 with the release of the film Scary Movie. Here's Dave Sheridan as Officer Doofy. 
Now you're probably wondering why Sir Michael Parkinson is here in the horror section. Well, Sir Michael starred as himself in the controversial 1992 BBC Halloween drama, Ghost Watch. Melissa George is no stranger to horror movies, having starred in Triangle and the Amityville Horror remake, among others. In this photo, she was getting a little flirty with me. I'd heard that she was up for the Supergirl role, and she asked me what outfit she would have to wear. Was it a little short skirt and boots, she asked? Here's Simon Pegg, star of Hot Fuzz, The World's End, and of course, Shaun of the Dead. I used to see Simon around quite a lot. He even sat with me to watch George Romero's zombie trilogy as it was then. One of Simon's other roles is in the Mission Impossible series alongside this fella, Mr Tom Cruise. I've been fortunate enough to have met Tom Cruise on many an occasion. That last photo is from the movie Night and Day, co-starring the gorgeous Cameron Diaz. I wasn't able to get a photograph with him, but here's another huge Hollywood star, Johnny Depp. Onto my favourite movie franchise now. And here we have Sam Neill, aka Dr. Alan Grant from Jurassic Park. And here we have the incredible Jeff Goldblum, aka Ian Malcolm in Jurassic Park. When I asked for this photograph to be taken, he replied in typical Jeff Goldblum fashion with a mmm, yes, ha, mmm, ha ha. We were sadly not allowed photographs with him, but here's Sir Richard Attenborough, aka John Hammond in Jurassic Park. Uh, this fellow's a bit of an eccentric, but he's still a nice guy. This is Crispin Glover, who you may remember as George McFly in Back to the Future. This gentleman is also associated with time travel, Mr Tom Baker the Fourth, and my favourite, Doctor Who. On to another space saga now. Here's the much-missed, beautiful Miss Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia Organa in Star Wars. And here's her cinematic brother, Luke Skywalker, played by Mr Mark Hamill. Mark and I have met on several occasions. Now here's a man I thought that I would never meet. Indiana Jones, Han Solo, Mr Harrison Ford. This was 2011 in London at the Morning Glory premiere. A memory I will always treasure. Over the years we became friends with some of the stars of Star Wars. Our friendship with Dave Prowse, Darth Vader, lasted well over 20 years and we were honoured that he considered us his friends. This is a really early 1999 photograph of Ewan McGregor, months before The Phantom Menace opened. Here he is in a play at the Comedy Theatre in London. Another Star Wars actor on the stage, just before the movie opened, was Hayden Christensen, aka Anakin Skywalker. Hayden was starring in the West End, in the play This Is Our Youth. This is Woody Harrelson in 2003. Woody went on to play Beckett in Solo, A Star Wars Story. Of course, Star Wars wouldn't look the way that it looks without the incredible Ralph McQuarrie. On to comedy now. Here's Ricky Gervais, famous for The Office, Afterlife and Extras. He asked me to check the photograph after it was taken in case there was a glare off of the bald guy's head. Another comedy legend here. Here's Will Ferrell, famous for Anchorman, Elf and Step Brothers, among many others. This was taken in New York on my 40th birthday. This is Robert Hayes, who portrayed Ted Stryker in the absolute comedy classic, Airplane. Now this guy's an absolute hero of mine, the legendary Leslie Nelson, star of Airplane and The Naked Gun. I don't know if you can see, but Leslie's got a tight grip on my hand here. And after the photograph was taken, he pulled me in close and he said, That photographer, he's no good. I didn't know what he meant. I don't know if he wanted to complain about him or something. I said, Oh, really? He said, Yeah. He can only count to three. Now, the reasoning behind that is because when the photographer takes a photograph, he goes, One, two, three, and then takes a photo. Leslie looked at me and smiled. I shook his hand and then I said my goodbye. And uh, sadly, he passed away later that year. Superstar is the only way to really describe Burt Reynolds, who has starred in many, many films throughout his career, including Smokey and the Bandit, Deliverance, and The Cannibal Run. He was such a sweet guy too. What an honour to have met him. When in London, always carry a Spice Girl around on your back, as I did with Emma Bunton. And if you can't find one in London, try Asda in Milton Keynes, which is where I found Jeremy Halliwell at a book signing. Here's Take That lead singer Gary Barlow at his book signing at Waterstones. Earlier on in the day, he posed for this photo outside a TV studio. I put my arm up to pose, he did the same. So I moved my arm down, he did the same. He looked at me and said, fuck it, should we just fight? Guess what, I won, take that. Bradley Cooper and I took this selfie years before he did the same at the Oscar ceremony. I took this photograph of Daniel Craig at the Cowboys and Aliens premiere. However, when I went to check the photograph, it looked like it didn't come out. So he took the camera off me, and he took the photograph himself. A rather sad one to end on, I'm afraid. 
I took this photograph of the Fast and Furious actor, Mr. Paul Walker, who left us far too soon in that horrendous accident. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give the channel a subscribe. Please give this video a big like, a big thumbs up. Please hit the notifications bell so that you'll be notified when there's more videos going on. And uh, we'll see you again very soon. Thank you.